Shut the fuck up. I'm speaking. You got Jun. I'm gonna be really real with you. I'm keeping it like legit a fucking buck with you. Tell me to shut the fuck up one more time, and I'm gonna have shut the fuck up. Okay, bet, bet, nigga. All right. Okay. So what's up, y'all? I know I don't have any subscribers or people that watch my videos but there has been two channels that had been bothering me a lot and since I'm on winter break I have the free time to make this video even though it's kinda a waste of time. This video isn't really go in depth and I'm just going to generally state my opinions because if I go into every single detail the video is going to be extremely long and hard to put into a video. So now I'm just gonna get straight to the point. First of all the channels I will be talking about today is K-Music and Black Women and also Jun Lee. They are channels that are both directed at black women. I'm going to divide my points into different sections so enjoy the rest of the video. Before that I want to talk a little about K-Pop, K-Drama, and its fantasy because it directly correlates with this video. I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. The industry of K-pop and K-drama has been expanding a lot in the West and because of that many people have been exposed to it. As we all know K-pop and K-drama gives fans the idea that Korea is just this perfect utopia that accepts people and it's just a magical country where life is easy and you meet all this ah pars or whatever. And it just makes me so sad because that's just not what it is. Especially to people of color like black people. K-pop does not represent all Koreans, K-drama doesn't represent all Korean men and people have to wake up from this fantasy. I'm not generalizing but generally Korean people have a bad perception of black people and people with darker complexion. And I'm just not coming from nowhere here. I will later show you one of Jun Lee's videos where these bunch of teenagers talk about how black women look like horses yes you heard me right H-O-R-S-E-S horses. So for the first part of my video I'm going to start with Jun Lee. Number 1. Jun Lee doesn't care about black people. I watched this video on a couple's channel, where they explained people's experiences with Jun Lee. And let me tell y'all it was not positive. Jun Lee claims he is an ally of black women and he isn't doing these videos for only financial benefits or fetishizing black women. But Jun Lee didn't stand by his words. He allegedly called black women who were confronting him about his Islamophobic remarks monkeys and gorillas which is contrary to what he says he stands for. Later he tried to cover up his Islamophobic remarks by saying this. And I love Muslims, so I don't, I don't even know what, why you, you bring that up, why you, why you have to lie like that. The first porn, foreigner ever that I met was a Muslim. And I was even just uh, convert my religion to the Muslim Islam, I swear. And I, I, I was going to do it. Jun says that the point of his videos are educating Korean people but he doesn't even have Korean subtitles. The point of his channel is supposed to be educating Koreans on black culture and experiences but most of the time his videos come off as offensive. I'm going to show you his thumbnails and judge them. The point is clear. All he wants is to get attention from black women and girls. Sometimes the opinions of people on his videos are downgrading to black women and it's doing the opposite effect it should have. This is common on different Korean channels you see on their thumbnail saying wow I love black women, or they are so sexy or whatever that will just help them to get attention from insecure black girls and women who may think it's necessary for them to get approval from them. This is sick on so many levels. This is exactly what June is doing. He is not doing black women a favor at all. A YouTuber with the name Chili Got Soul called him out on his actions and this is how their interaction went. On one of the videos he fat shames her, on another he tells her to shut the fuck up and on a live stream mocks her hair. The hair part is really funny to me. Because he tried to come at Chili but in general came off as a racist and hater. Now she's using my channel to get fucking famous. Why don't, she right here. why don't you just ignore her then? She's a fucking fat. She's a fucking fat ass. That's why. Right. Well, I mean, I. Mean, I mean, shoot me, bitch. Like, hey, Chili, shoot me, bitch. You ain't shit, bitch. What? What? You never did an interview before, right? Didn't you? 
So I've done interviews. Jen, I literally worked for Listen, listen. I literally worked Listen, I'm speaking. Talk. I've done plenty of interviews I'm speaking. before, and I understand I'm speaking. how things happen in I'm fucking the speaking. moment. I understand I'm speaking. how things happen in the moment. I'm speaking. So, I'm speaking. Shut the fuck up. I'm speaking. You got, Jen, I'm going to be really real with you. I'm keeping it, like, legit a fucking buck with you. Tell me to shut the fuck up one more time, and I'm going to have- Shut the fuck up. Okay. Bet. Bet, nigga. All right. Hey, I'm going to be back. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to be... Whew, okay, listen. Um, I'm really trying not to... I'm going to be right back. We're we going to be back in a minute, y'all. Pretty, though. Not even good-looking. And she's like... Hey guys, I got a new wig. I should cover up the a little little black right here. Little uh, this this is different from my skin tone, so I should do a makeup. Thing. Give me one sec. My wig and my skin tone is so different, so I'm gonna. Uh, Oh, so pretty. What did I just watch? How are you trying to educate the whole country? You can't even educate the five friends that you have over your house. What was the purpose of this video? To not want to date us, like, that's fine. You don't have to date us. We don't want to date you, okay? But to get on here and call our entire race ugly, to get on here and, and say we're built like fucking horses, are you serious? And you're just a kick, 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 just laughing with them. What's funny about that, Jun? What's funny about that? That was the most disgusting, vile, low down, trifling ass video I've seen in a while. I already know people gonna come for me. Oh, you're bullying him. You're this, you're that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. This shit is disgusting and somebody should be telling him that shit. To be honest, I don't even know why people even watch him. Like I have probably watched three or four of his videos and they aren't even entertaining or fun to watch. One I have watched was a video with a bunch of teenagers and it was really offensive to me. He wasn't even trying his best to correct them. <laughs> 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 there is so much points and details I haven't covered. As I mentioned before this video might not even be viewed by anyone so I didn't want to spend too much time and try to make it brief. In conclusion Jun Lee is not an ally of black women. He had make Islamophobic fat shaming and racist remarks. He is capitalizing of people's insecurities and the hurtful experiences that black women go through and that is not fair at all.